Taking a look at this, this is the Chevy Silverado 2500 HD, the big three-quarter ton uh, pickup truck from Chevrolet. This is the diesel version. It has a 6.6 liter Duramax diesel in it, and it turns out a lot of power, both horsepower and uh, uh, torque. So it, it's something to consider when you're buying something like this. We're going to take a look at all of the details here in just a minute. Good looking front end on this. Now, this will probably be the last year for this production model because a new 2014 or 2015 Chevrolet will be out in the next uh, few months. As you can see, classic sides. We also got a nice sidestep on this. Oh, I wanted to point out the nice alloy wheels on it. Those aren't hubcaps, by the way. That's the real deal, friends. This back here, interesting note. The exhaust. Notice that it's got a little gap in here kind of scavenging the uh, exhaust out of this big baby. Nice bed liner on this one too, as you can see. Classic rear end and a great huge trailer hitch with all the connections and it's also got a rear view backup camera. Okay, let's head inside. First of all, let's go to the back seat. Plenty of room back here. Easily for three. It's a 60-40 foldings split bench. And as you can see, once you fold the seat up, you got lots and lots of room. Nice also is the center armrest, and it has cup holders in it as well. By the way, the other seat over there folds up too. Up front, oh yeah, it's all Chevrolet, baby. Let's get in and crank this baby up. And while I'm doing that, I did want you to know some of the stats on this that I mentioned earlier, 397 horsepower, turn the radio down, down, 397 horsepower and get this, 765 pound feet of torque. It's best in class stuff. This uh, again is the Sierra model, Chevy Silverado, good looking classic instrument panel. And uh, one of the nice things is over here, this is changeable so you can get all of your different readouts, as I'm going to show you. I put 327 miles on this baby in the week that I've had it. I got about 212 miles left out of this tank of gas. That's my average fuel economy between city and highway. Most of that is city, by the way, so don't get too frightened. They don't actually <clears throat> have published fuel mileage ratings on these heavy duties. There's how many gallons I have used. Another note is that this does take diesel fluid. So about every oil change, you've got to uh, add diesel fluid to it. You get a gallon jug and pour it in. There's a place up underneath the hood to do that. As far as the center console is concerned, very easy to use and understand. Touch screen. We can go to navigation over here. Still shows the radio and the navigation. Or you can go just to navigation if you want. Temperature control, automatic if that's the way you want to set it. Temperatures up, down. Controls, easy to understand. Uh, it's, 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 a great, it's a great vehicle. I have to tell you that. Perforated leather seats. Huge uh, center console here. Look at that. You can take a bath in that thing. So you want to know what the price is. Well, this is pretty much loaded up. Uh, base price on this one before all the gizmos, bells, and whistles is 42670 This one is loaded up. It has the LTZ package, as you can see. It's also got the locking tailgate, easy lift tailgate, uh, rear wheel house liner. That, that would be the uh, bed liner. Adjustable pedals, rear park assist. And here's the big ticket item here. That turbo diesel is a 7100 $95 option. Navigation system and touchscreen is another $2,200. But as you can see, this one's got everything that you need in it, including that huge Allison six speed automatic transmission to pull, well, either your uh, fifth wheel or a uh, tow behind trailer. Total price $58,590. Going to give this a four and a half out of five stars and the five star rating. Thanks for watching. See you next time.